NovDEC 2020, question number 13a. A function h is defined by h of x mapping onto px squared plus qx minus 2, where p and q are constants. If the image of 1 is negative 6 and that of 3 is negative 12, find the values of p and q. This is a very trivial question. Now, what do you have? We have h of x, the function h of x to be p x squared plus qx minus 2. Now we are being told that the image of 1 is negative 6. The function is h. So image of 1 is written as h of 1 and this is equal to negative 6. Now it means that wherever we see x in the function h, we put 1 over there. So in this case we have p1 squared plus q1 minus 2. This is equal to negative 6. Wherever you see x you put 1 over there that's what I've done here and this just p plus q minus 2 equal to negative 6 now 1 square is 1 times p that's p 1 times q that's q so let's take the negative um, 2 to the right hand side so we have p plus q equal to negative 6 plus 2 so p plus q equal to negative 4 equation 1 that is our equation 1 now let's see the second one the image of 3 is negative 12 so it means h of 3 is equal to negative 12 now wherever we see x in the function h we put 3 over there so here our h of x is this so wherever we see x we put 3 there so x is here we put 3 over there so that is 3 I don't forget it is squared plus q we shouldn't forget we have 3 minus 2 equal to negative 12 now 3 squared is 9 so we have 9p plus 3 q now minus 2 equal to negative 12 this has to go there so we have 9p plus 3 q equal to negative 12 plus 2 9p plus 3 q equal to negative 10. Now let's call this equation 2. This is equation 2. Now we solve 1 and then 2 simultaneously. Now from 1, let's make p the subject from 1. p will be equal to negative 4 minus q. We want to make p this, so this has to uh, move to the right hand side, which will be negative. So this is our equation 3. So we put 3 into 2 because we have 3 from 1 so we put it into 2 so wherever we see p we put negative 4 minus q over there so we have 9 what is our p negative 4 minus q plus 3 q equal to negative 10 now we use the distributive rule to expand 9 times 4 that is we have negative 36 minus 9 q plus 3 k equal to negative 10. Now this has to move to the right hand side. So you have negative 9 k plus 3 k equal to negative 10 plus 36. Now negative 9 k plus 3 k, that's negative 6 k. Now negative 10 plus 36, this is just 26. So you want to find our k, here's our k is just 26 all over negative 6. Now, 2 will go into 6, 3 times 2 will go into 26, 13. So we have negative 13 all over 3. Now, we want to find the value of P. So we put K to be equal to negative 13 over 3 into any of the equations, probably into equation um, 3. Where's equation 3? Into 3. So our p will be equal to negative 4 minus q, which is negative 13 all over 3. We got negative q, and our k is negative 13 over that. Now this and this will be positive. So we have negative 4 plus 13 all over 3. Now what is the LCM? The LCM is 3. And this is over 1. Now 3 will go into 1, 3 times times this, we have negative 12 plus 13. And negative 12 plus 13 is 1, so we have 1 all over 3. So 
Um, P, our P is 1 over 3, and then our Q is negative 13 over 3. That's very, very trivial. Don't forget to subscribe, share the videos also to your friends. Now, VEC 2020, question number 13B. The function g of x is equal to this. We've given us the function g of x, and this is equal to x plus 1, x minus 1. Now, if you have very good eyes, this is just difference of two squares. So, we can, re we can rewrite this g of x to be equal to what? That is x squared minus 1. That is, if you have very good eyes, x plus 1 times x minus 1 is just x squared minus 1. Now, we want to find g, the i says, we define g of negative 4. So, wherever we see x, we put negative 4 there. So, we have negative 4 squared minus 1. Now, negative 4 squared, this is just 16 minus 1, and this is just 15. Or, probably, you don't have that kind of i, so... Uh, you still maintain your g of x to be x plus 1, x minus 1. No problem. So our g of negative 4, wherever we see x, we put negative 4 over there. So x negative 4 plus 1, negative 4 minus 1. Now negative 4 plus 1, that is 3. And then times, now negative 4 minus 1, that is negative 5. And 3 times negative 5, that is negative 15. Now, let's see. That's negative 4 plus 1. This is just negative 3 times. Negative 4 minus 1. This is just negative 5. So, negative and negative, that's positive. 3 times 5. That is 15, so, so easy. 15 is the same as the 15 over here. Now, let's see the second part. Say that the values of x for which g of x is equal to 5 minus x. Now, we are being given that g of x is equal to 5 minus x. But then, what is the function g of x? The function g of x is just x plus 1, x minus 1. So, we have x plus 1 x minus 1 equal to 5 minus x. That's just difference of two squares. So, expanding this, I'll get x squared minus 1 equal to 5 minus x. Now, this is just a quadratic equation. So, let me put it in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, here I have x squared. Let me bring this one here. Plus xy plus this negative come here, positive. You have negative 1 minus 5 equals 0, bringing everything over here. Now, this positive coming, negative, negative coming, positive. So, we have x squared plus x minus 6. This is equal to um, 0. Now, we have quadratic equation we are supposed to factorize. Two numbers, when you multiply, we get negative 6. When you add, we get 1. And this is clearly 3 and negative 2. Very, very easy. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 equal to 0. Now, taking two terms at a time, x is constant of x, x plus 3 minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Let's see, x plus 3, x plus 3 is common, so we can factorize x plus 3 out. So you have x plus 3. Now, what is left here? x minus 2 equal to 0. So we use the null factor principle. So x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. So you have x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 2 equals 0. So working for x, we have our x to be equal to negative 3 or x to be equal to positive 2. That is very, very trivial. Now, the expansion for this, if you can see, you see x plus 1, x minus 1. Now, when you expand, we take x, x minus 1, we take 1, x minus 1. Now, when you multiply, you have x squared minus x, then plus x minus 1. Clearly, this and this will cancel. You have x squared minus 1. That is expansion for this. If you can see clearly that this is difference of two 
squares. Very, very easy. I believe that you've enjoyed the lessons. We have a whole lot of videos just for you on our YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe, share the videos also to friends. Don't forget, no pain, no gain. The height rich and kept by great men were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their, con while their companions slept, they were toiling upwards in the night. Have a good time.